we're going to create uh, an email that goes individually to a mailing list and we're going to use three programs from Microsoft that all link together. We're going to use Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Word, and Microsoft Outlook. I'm using Office 2010, so all the programs are from 2010, but you can use other versions of Microsoft Office to do the same thing. The Microsoft Word has a wizard to do this with, and so uh, we have um, a letter that we've written, and here it is, and now uh, in Excel, we have the database right here and the database uh, this database has three names in it and we've used first name last name and email because those are standard headings that uh, the program will recognize and so it's a good idea to use the standard heading so you don't have to rename things and the first thing you have to do is you have to highlight all of the the data in your table because uh, this is Excel and you're going to have to name this area. So we're going to uh, highlight that and we're going to right click and we're going to say define name. And so we're going to call this uh, my data. Now we have a named area that we can reference that goes from cell A1 to cell C4. Now we're going to go back to Microsoft Word and now we're going to do a mail merge. Well the mail merge wizard is found under mailings and so the first thing we want to do is we're going to start mail merge and we're going to create an email message and we've got our letter we're going to select the recipients now we've got our existing list which is in Excel so uh, that list I've kept that in Dropbox in uh, the class file for this class Outlook class and we're going to go get it it's called my mailing list and we have my data. So that's the reference we're going to use to get the data. Now we're going to uh, insert name fields. So we're going to say hi, we're going to say hi to, we're going to insert the first name. And notice the brackets. So in between the brackets that field is going to be filled from the database by the appropriate information uh, for that particular person. And then we're going to so hope it all is well with you and the last name, we'll put that in here. Hope all is well with you and whatever your last name is, family. Thanks for attending the open house. So now we've used mail merge to fill out the information uh, and now uh, we can go to looking at the results you see how it substitutes in each case? So we can go through and check all of them, make sure they're all right. And now we can do finish and merge. And we're going to send an email message. So we've already used the, the heading email, which is the correct heading. And uh, we're going to have a subject line. Uh, thanks for coming to the open house. So that's the heading that's going to show up in their email message. It's going to be an HTML message. We're going to merge all the records and we say OK. And now all those things, because Outlook was open in the background, all of those messages were sent and we can go to Outlook and look in our sent file and here they are. One, two, three. Okay?